Hi everyone. Uh, I have made this application and I wanted to demonstrate it to you. So basically this is a application on it's a small application uh, which is on uh, which is based on shopping cart. And uh, it is uh, developed on in React. OK, and uh, the other components basically that I have used to create this is uh, bootstrap font awesome you know and other stuff so uh, uh, the data source basically from where all this information is pulled is uh, is a json file just there uh, in my solution so if i just go through the solution um go to the code file um i mean the json file so this is the structure of my data which is um, the, this is a product information, single product information where I have ID name, the category of it, a description, what is the price, the photo, uh, whether it's a featured or non featured. So all the featured ones will be shown on the home page and what are the sizes which are available on particular product. product. OK, so so this is a structure which um, of my JSON file. So if I go through browse through this uh, application, so on the home page that you can see, it is uh, showing me all the feature product on the home page and the corrosal view. So I can go back and forth and then see the product featured products. And then I have a product menu here through which I can see all my products. So you can see that uh, uh, the, this is my product card where I showing the picture of the product. What is the title, the price, and the drop down we have here. Okay, we can select the size and then add to cart. We'll add my product to the cart. And uh, so these are the basic, basically the products that I have. And then the user can further go ahead and filter the products based on a category. So the category is coming from uh, the again JSON file, just filtered from this. So every product has a category. So from here, if I want to buy this, uh, basically uh, Ninja Pro Watch, so I can select a size and then click on Add to Cart. So once I add to Cart, you see a little notification on the right side and uh, number of item in my cart is shown here. So similarly, if I want to buy a shoe, I can select a shoe and then select a size. I want nine and then click add to cart. So you can see that the, it shows the title of the product saying added to the cart and then uh, the number get incremented here. Similarly, so I have a watch shoes. Now uh, I would like a phone. And I have only one phone here and it's set of six inches. So if I click on add to cart, it's get added here. Uh, so I'm pretty much done here. So if I want to have a look at my cart, I can click on this icon and it will display me all the icons, all the sorry, all the products which I have selected added to my cart. Now here uh, it displays me the title of the product, what quantity I have. Uh, selected and what is the price and what is the size of it. Now here I have given a delete and a pencil, which is an editing option. So if you, if you want, if you don't want to watch, you can just go ahead and delete. So if if, if you notice here, the, the total price is sort of deleted, reduced, deleted. So so let's let's add the watch back. So if I go there um, to my product page and then so I can add the watch here, or if I want to see, see more description of it, I can click on the card picture and it will navigate to the product section, uh, detail product of the uh, detail section of the of my product. Here I can uh, mention the quantity. So one is pre-selected. So if I want two or three or how many I want, I can set, select it here. So let's say I just want one, and I'll select the size and add to cart. So the same behavior is seen. I get a notification, the product name, and then added to cart, and then the number gets incremented here. So 
I can do this uh, and then if I want to uh, let's say that I want to change the size of the shoes so I can just click on edit. So it will go and edit. I can select a different size. So I want 10 now and I want. Uh, two, two of these so I can add the cart. So if you notice here if I since it is updating the cart, so the I, the color is different and then the title of the product comes here and then updated in cart. So if I go back to the cart, so you can see the two quantity into six and then everything gets um, summed up here in the subtotal section. OK. Um, so apart from this, uh, I have um, so I also have a contact us section, so I'll go ahead and do a checkout, but let me show you how what are what are the things I have here. So I have this contact us form from where we can send a feedback about my experience on the site to the to the to the people who develop this. So I can uh, give my first name, last name and this thing. Uh, all the other details here. So if I don't give anything and I hit send feedback, so it displays me an error here. Please fix the following error. First name, last name, email and feedback is uh, mandatory. So let me fill the details. John. Bravo and then I'll leave these as it is. Email is. Some email. OK, and then feedback is. I, I like the site very much. Uh, if you notice here, uh, now the only thing we are left is uh, the email is invalid, so I can just correct this. Things looks fine here, and I can go ahead and click submit, send feedback, and it says a message here successfully submitted form, and John is the name. Say OK, and it says thank you for your feedback. So once the feedback is sent, I have not uh, done that functionality where an email is sent. It's just a message saying that your your um, contact uh, was successfully sent. And apart from that, I have a search section here. Basically, I can uh, search based on the product name and the category. So, so let's say that I want shoes. So all the shoes will be shown here. So if I want something very particular in shoes, let's say Adidas, so it will be shown here. And then you know, I can just filter out the things and I can add it to my card if I want to buy it. So, so this is it. And then basically if I go to the cart and I have done a Stripe integration here. Uh, so it's um, so if I do a checkout, I can also clear the cart here, so I'll just show you quickly. Quickly, if I click on the cart, you see the numbers are gone and your cart is empty. Let me add some products real quick. This and one shoe and matching watch. And uh, maybe a nice pair to go along with. This one is good. Uh, I want large. OK, go to the cart, let's go to the cart and then see. All the details which I have added, which I have selected is here and I'll hit checkout. So as you can see, it is integrated with Stripe and you can see it said since I have, I have enabled a developer edition. So it says it's a test mode and you can see my the title of my site is appearing here along with my image of the logo of my you know, site. So I can give a email here, test email. Um, and then put the addresses are same. So I'll give here John Bravo and uh, some address somewhere. And then post post list um, some post. Uh, city is um, say in Y. And uh, say that select any country. Let's say select Madagascar. Okay. Okay, and then 
कौन से क्लिक पेमेंट इनफो द ईमेल इज नॉट करेक्ट सो लेट मी टेस्ट इट ईमेल and then i will add a fictitious card number here for my purchase and then you notice that the amount is same so this is 3200 3200 and once i hit the payment everything works thing is fine it navigates to a order summary page where it will show me all the details that i have entered uh on the page of stripe while making the payment so order will be delivered to this address and this is my test email and if you notice the shopping cart is empty so i have made my purchase so i have not saved it anywhere uh, on this application it just uh, you know once the transaction is successful it just displays this message and that's it uh, but basically we can um, we can add the functionality of sending the product to the email with the detailed invoice and then storing all the orders in some database uh, but for now i have not enabled not uh, did all those functionalities it's just a very simple application um yeah that's it um, so i'll be making a, a very detailed video on the code on the code walk through and how i did this project so if you guys are interested uh, stay tuned i'll be posting more videos uh, series wise um, where i did uh, what i did and then how i did it okay All right that's it for now thanks for uh, your time spending on this and then have a great day and thank you